The muscles and skin of the arm are innervated predominantly by the five terminal branches of the brachial plexus. These essential nerves come up time and again in your studies and in clinical life and are relevant to a whole range of clinical presentations. In this series we're covering the anatomy of these five nerves in detail. We've already covered the axillary nerve in a previous video, so today we'll be discussing the musculocutaneous. As you know, the brachial plexus is a complex interconnected web of nerve fibres originating from the C5 to T1 nerve roots. These fibres follow the axillary artery through the axilla and emerge in the arm as five large terminal branches. One of these is the musculocutaneous nerve. The musculocutaneous receives contributions from the C5, C6 and C7 nerve roots. It emerges from the lateral cord of the brachial plexus. Immediately after emerging, the nerve penetrates and passes through the coracobrachialis muscle, which it innervates. The coracobrachialis is involved in flexing and adducting the shoulder joint, so the musculocutaneous nerve is important for these functions. The musculocutaneous nerve comes out the front of coracobrachialis to lie in a plane between it and the biceps brachii muscle. It travels down the arm in this plane, passing over the brachialis muscle as it enters the elbow. On its route, the musculocutaneous produces a number of branches which supply the biceps and brachialis muscles. These are involved mostly in flexing and supinating the arm at the elbow joint. At the elbow joint, it produces some small sensory branches to the joint itself, as well as to the humerus, before passing laterally to the biceps tendon and piercing the deep fascia in the roof of the cubital fossa to enter the forearm. From here on out, the musculocutaneous nerve becomes known as the lateral cutaneous nerve of the forearm or sometimes the lateral antibrachial cutaneous nerve. Up until this point, it's been mostly a motor nerve, supplying muscles that flex the arm at the shoulder and elbow joint, but in the forearm it becomes purely sensory, taking sensation from the anterior lateral skin of the forearm all the way down from the elbow to the wrist joint. The most distal part of the musculocutaneous nerve terminates at the wrist, just over the radial artery. So the musculocutaneous nerve is a long, mixed motor and sensory nerve from the lateral cord at the brachial plexus. It innervates the coracobrachialis, biceps brachii and brachialis muscles and provides sensation to some of the elbow and to the anterior lateral forearm. The most common way for this nerve to become injured in the adult is actually through stab injuries into the axilla. The patient often has weakness in shoulder and elbow flexion, but these actions won't be completely absent due to the compensation via other nerves and muscles in the arm. That's all for now. Remember to watch the previous video on the axillary nerve if you've not already seen it, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on future uploads. Until then, I hope you learned something, and have a great day.